Hey guys, this video will share the tips on how to pass CCIE Security Lab exam in 2024. Cisco CCIE Security Certification denotes an expert level of security certified professionals who have the ability, skills, and knowledge to plan, design, implement, and troubleshoot complex types of Cisco security technologies and solutions using advanced techniques and the most recent industry-based techniques to protect systems and enterprise networks from advanced security threats and risks. It is difficult to pass lab exam in the first attempt. That said, learn from your mistakes, identify your shortcomings and weaknesses and devise plans to rectify them. This approach will give you a great chance to pass in the subsequent attempts. To pass the CCIE Security Lab Exam, here are some helpful tips. First, you should review the syllabus. The exam blueprint should be the starting point for your journey. Make sure you understand what topics will be covered on the exam and dedicate more time to studying those areas. Determine which tasks on the blueprint are beyond your expertise. Second, you need to use study materials. Look into official study materials, such as Cisco Press and Learning Network resources. You should also choose Spoto study materials to help you prepare. Here's Lewis, the Spoto tutor, sharing the lab package. Take a look at the service labs, the security lab service we provide. As you can see in the chart, this is a three-month service being with verbals, videos, and regs, as well as tutor support. Here you can see there are two sets of design and DOO each. And yes, of course, they fully cover the exam in all centers. By far, the new designs show up in Beijing Singapore, Bangalore, and Dubai, while the new DOO show up in Sydney, Johannesburg, San Jose, Mexico, Mexico City, and Richardson. Materials we will share face by face, so try your best to achieve the goal in each phase with 100% following our steps. Phase 1 is the most difficult part. Once you master that, which means you can finish all its tasks around 3 hours, and then all the rest can be done within 2 weeks or even less. This is the physical topology for layer 2 connections. If you have already know something about routing and switching technologies, you can understand this content easily. And this is the logical topology. You need to know where the traffic flows lead to by analyzing the requirements for each question. Also, you will need to understand the dependency between the tasks as well. We have created videos for each task. They will do great help to your preparation, and you can master each task easier by following that. The practice environment is almost the same as the test room environment, which ensures the high pass rate. We have three types of rest with substantial quantity for you. They are very good rest because many candidates say that our rest are better than exam rest. Some candidates even complain to the proctor about that. But don't do that again so as it won't be helpful at all. As materials will be shared in phases, the rest will be open in phases accordingly. Normally, the 152 hours will be allocated as below, and flexible adjustment can also be made according to your specific situation. Remember that rest are mainly for verifying the solution, not just for practice. 
as many candidates could pass the exam with using only a half of the 152 hours. So if you can understand this poem very well, you may easily pass the exam too. The full regs are being with 4 hour and 8 hour sessions, while the non full regs are being with 2 hour and 4 hour sessions. This will be more flexible for you to arrange the time for practice, and you will start with this rack first in phase 1. Here is the only one difference on course between our rest and exam rest. Exam rest are being with two types, double five twelve and double five sixteen. You will be assigned one of them randomly when taking the exam. On our regs, you just need to follow the info we provided and then configure it correctly. Here is a quick look of our regs. You will only need to complete all tasks through these two programs, MTPUT and RDP. It's very easy to proceed. About tutor support, for sure we will try our best to clear your doubts, answer your questions, and follow your preparation progress as well as help you to do some troubleshooting on the sessions if needed. We will also evaluate your performance before taking the exam and keep you posted about the latest exam info or feedback. Here are some guideline files indicating how to get started and how to continue until you achieve the goal. So, any question about this section, let me know, please. And welcome the new members. Now you know our service tool, and next, we will share some tips for the preparation, hoping it will be helpful to you. Firstly, we need to know the Cisco Certification Roadmaps. Apparently, it shows you that how things will be going on, when the change will take place, and how to make a plan properly. As we can see that the update exam will be started testing on October 20th, 2023. So there is very limited time left for us to pass the current exam, but no worries, with our help, it will be enough time to get it done. So now let's make a good plan right now. Uh, join us and get started today. Finally, we come to the preparation tips part. As mentioned in topology part, you need to figure out the traffic flows, getting familiar with the topology by memorizing all subnets and IP addresses, as well as the positions of all devices. And then familiarize yourself with the solution of each task by reading the workbook as well as watching the video before you verify it on the rest. In the world, it's all about the familiarity of the solution, as you can practice all tasks through your head without rest, if you can understand this point. And as long as you can do that, which means you have been familiar enough with the solution, as a result, your accuracy as well as the speed will
as a result, your accuracy as well as the speed will be good enough. And finally, you are required completing all tasks with getting expected outputs in three hours and a half. And that's the minimum requirement for you. Then, create lab modules for each task to test deployment, optimization, and troubleshooting skills. Time your lab module practice sessions. This will improve your time management skills for your lab experiment. Most well-prepared candidates fail due to poor time management. Time management is critical to a successful lab experiment. Finally, lab exam preparation requires motivation and momentum. If you miss any of these, it will be extremely difficult to cross the finish line.